Hey everyone, this is Chris, and you're listening to One Cross Radio, and today we are doing another Out and About. I am walking with Luna right now. Uh, sorry about the sound. Um, it's interesting doing these Out and Abouts, because uh, part of the reason I do them is to get my mind out of its funk <laughs> as you're battling the anxiety and depression, but then also it's like, hey, I'm walking down a street... <laughs> You don't want to talk too loud. You're not trying to draw too much attention to yourself. So you're you're kind of quieting down. But that impacts the volume level that shows up on the podcast. So what are you going to do? <laughs> um, so today's episode is one... Uh, I've been on the fence about doing. Um, not because like, oh, I don't know if I should share this. It's, y'all know that I'm, I try to be as respectful as possible, um, <laughs> um, about everything, as, as respectful as I can be, uh, give benefit of the doubt, and not characterize, or mischaracterize, or get too ranty. Um, But, (laughs) this kind of topic makes me ranty. Um, So we'll see if I actually release this. Because also the audio is crap then. It's not going out. And you won't know. Because I'll delete that comment if I release it. Or I'll just be too lazy and I won't. We'll see. Um, (coughs) Sorry about that. Um, So, today's topic is... It's about Star Wars fans. Um, and I'm one of them. Like, I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Um, like, given how many episodes I've done on the topic. <laughs> how much? <laughs> anyway. Um, and over the past couple of years, the fan... Uh, like, you've really realized the, the negative aspect of the fandom. Or pockets of it. Or loud corners of it of it, whatever you want to say, um, and I don't know, lately it just seems like that loud group is growing, that might not be, um, but it seems like it is, and that, and that's a real shame, um, like this is, uh, to me, this is really highlighted by the, uh, earlier this year, the launch of the the High Republic Story Initiative. It's coming out in the books uh, for adults, for young adults, for kids, um, and then also uh, comics. Interestingly, one through, of course, one through Marvel, because they own the the right, but then also one through IDW, who did Star Wars comics for a long time. Wait, no. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. That was Star Wars. Alright, I mixed those two up. But it's interesting that they're giving the license out to uh, IDW. It's interesting. That's all I'm saying. Um, (laughs) And as this has come out, it's really come out of the woodwork. And it doesn't help that we don't have a movie right now to distract us. (laughs) Or have all the apparent rage directed at. And with the High Republic, or, you know, anything with Kathleen Kennedy's name involved, um, it's just crapped on, like, so much, and a good chunk of it, it doesn't make any sense, the criticisms, uh, like, for example, people will go off on, um, sorry, some people are driving terribly, and speeding and not stopping properly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been commonly called like, oh, it's SJW Wars now. It's Star Woke now. Ugh. That annoys the dickens out of me. Um, because it really, it really doesn't make any sense. And when you try, and I say try, um, to watch some of these videos... That in and of itself is a challenge, because for me, if it's condescension, it's not good faith, it's 
just negative for the sake of being negative or clicks like you've lost any interest I have or if it's any of these channels that are like hey this is what's going on but and they'll talk like 15 20 minutes and then out of nowhere it'll be like oh hey but remember this is rumors to so take it with a grain of salt then homie why'd you do a 20 minute video <laughs> um mischaracterizing and like negatively painting someone <laughs> to get clicks well that's why anyways sorry see ranty um so i i try to get in give the benefit of the doubt to to watch these videos to understand some of these criticisms now i haven't read every piece of high republic uh literature i read the first book uh light of the jedi loved it loved it um and I've read the first three issues of the Marvel High Republic uh, comic and really, really enjoyed it. Um, and I've pre-ordered the next adult reading age uh, High Republic book because, I, like I said, I really, really enjoy the story. And while I haven't read the other stuff, I've read about the other stuff. Um, and of course, there's people who take issue with one of the authors, I can't remember her name, because she said some, I'll say debatably racist stuff. Um, and the reason I, I add that caveat is, yes, to me it's, <laughs> if, you're, if you're going at someone because of their skin color, that's, that's still racism. Um, it's, this just happens to be on an individual level. I think racism is a multifaceted, terrible thing. It goes both systemic and like lower individual level um, because I've also seen people try to take take that systemic definition and use it to be like well because I'm not in power I can never be racist to anyone uh, and then they proceed to be horrifically racist to everyone um, sorry see getting sidetracked trying not to do this because this is also a topic that deserves much more care and in-depth thought and nuance and multiple voices than I can give it now. So I'm going to try to move on. Uh, but one of the authors involved in the High Republic said some stuff that was terrible, but not everybody agrees that what she said in and of itself was racist. And that's why I'm saying, because it's from a person who's not in systemic power, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, as much as I disagree with what this author said, you can see the room for debate, whether or not you agree with it. Anyways, <laughs> I just cut that whole section. Um, <coughs> so, and also people seem hyper-focused on this thing that got released from the story meetings where I can't remember... Um, the one that got, there was two key things that got underlined and everybody seemed to get upset about, which doesn't really make any sense. Um, and of course one was diversity. And it was the aim to have diversity in the writer's room. Which, why is that bad? Like, I, I, I'm not trying to be facetious here, or intentionally dense. Um... Why is that a bad thing? Why is having the multiple voices and multiple inputs and multiple viewpoints going towards this grandiose story that has impacted and affected and is beloved by millions of people? Um, why, is, why is that a bad thing? Because um, I even think the writing was diverse before now not as diverse as it is now let's make that distinction but this was something that was here before it's just now being highlighted and being like hey let's make more of an effort I don't see why that's a bad thing um, but people have latched onto it and then the criticisms towards the books or comics themselves so far based on what I've read um, actually like reading the books or the comics um, it's like, well, this is just SJW woke crap. How? Have you, and legit, like most of the time, this isn't trying, 
me trying to attack. It's just... I don't think the people criticizing have actually read the stuff. Because if they did, they'd see their point doesn't really hold any water. It's like, oh, this person is a, is a Mary Sue. How? Like, we just literally got introduced to this character. Um, and you're highlighting this person as a Mary Sue, air quotes. Um, but you're not highlighting any of the, the male characters who are given the exact same development, have basically the same kind of thing of, oh, hey, they're super powerful and talented, which makes sense because we're introducing the High Republic era with plenty of Jedi before the Sith have really mucked things up and clouded the force and they get crazy, crazy dogmatic. Um, see, ranty. <laughs> like, you're highlighting it as like, this, this, this character is a Mary Sue where, bruh, there are also like just as many Gary Stews by your logic. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, and it's like, oh, this person has this haircut, so it's... Uh, shut up! <laughs> um, and that just seems to be the thing. It's this reactionary thing, like, oh, let's go with this, we'll get the clicks, we'll get the audience. It's very easy to <laughs> go for negativity. Um, and I, I, like, I, I want to understand. I do, um, just because if it's, look, you're just, you're seeing a market that you can tap into, I don't like it, but that makes sense, and I can understand that, um, but if it's, if it's not that case, and it's the jumping into, this is, this is SJW, which, no, it's not, um, or anything like that, like, I genuinely want to understand, because I'm baffled. Um, and I just see all this criticism, negativity, and it's just like, why? Why? <laughs> why is my fandom like this? Um, and I'm trying not to be negative. This is trying to be a loving rebuke or call out. Um, but it's also exasperation with it. And another facet of it is, it seems to be like, well, this is forced diversity, which... I, I don't see why that's wrong. Um, because also, anybody who's followed uh, Star Wars outside of the films for the old EU, through the Clone Wars, through the old video games, Star Wars has legit been always diverse. Fairly, fairly diverse. Through the aliens, through highlighting of amazing female characters, black characters, any blah, any character, <laughs> basically. And now you'll try to find one to stump me, which I set myself up for that. Um, but Star Wars has always been diverse, and it's something that people would love and would champion about it when people would be like, oh, it's just, it's just one thing. It's like, no, it's not. It's so much. Um, but now, when uh, now it seems to be like, well, it's forced. I don't, I don't understand why it was okay then, but why it's not okay now. I really don't get it. Um, and yeah, the Star Wars fandom is is just vexing me lately, <laughs> um, and it's so. It is frustrating. Uh, a, a good example of this, and at times the uh, the double edgedness, you could say, hypocrisy of it is now I'm, I'm choosing my words carefully here because I'm not attacking anybody um, but there's this double-edged sword right now where a large group of people will be like I hate cancel culture and I definitely understand that because uh, it seems like the time it's done right is very very few and far between uh, it's something that's been weaponized, and again, this is a whole separate an episode that would deserve and to be done correctly need multiple inputs and viewpoints. Um, but the nutshell of it is, like, 
hey, people are like, we don't like that, say, Gino Carino got canceled. And I do the quotations because if you walk away with a movie deal with somebody else, then many, many, many thousands of dollars. I don't think that cancellation worked. Um, but anyways, and that was a whole separate thing. Again, worthy of an in-depth conversation. Um, but the same people who are, not the same people, but a large group of people within that group who are like, no, cancel culture bad, um, are doing every video, article, or whatever possible to get Kathleen Kennedy fired. What? <laughs> You're gonna... <laughs> it's, it's the same thing that you get angry about other people doing, but then you do it yourself. It's... I'm seeing too much in the Star Wars fandom, and in general, of rules for thee, but not for me. And ugh, that annoys the dickens out of me. And yeah, there should be an in-depth conversation, an objective in-depth conversation about the faults of Star Wars under uh, Kathleen Kennedy's administ... <laughs> I can't words, but administration. Um, I think that there could be a good productive conversation out of it and very constructive because you could look where the flaws were, but also where the successes are. Um, you can do that healthily, and at times it was done healthily, with when George Lucas was running the show. Unfortunately, the fandom often also took that to a very unhealthy degree, and then the man was devastated and sold Star Wars. <laughs> and even said, like, the quote's not verbatim, but even like, why would I want to make any more when I have people coming up to me telling me what a horrible person I am for ruining this thing? Yeah, we, we kind of did this, homies. Um, yeah, it's... <sighs> I guess at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say with this is, like, one, this kind of behavior just really, really frustrates me. Um, it's, it's to the point where I've had a friend who wants to do a Star Wars channel with me um, if we could ever figure out, uh, like, if a, my Wi-Fi can stop sucking. And I... I part of me would genuinely, genuinely love to do that. Um, but then another part of me <laughs> just looks at what so many Star Wars channels on YouTube are like, and not all of them. Uh, there's a good number that are, I, I'd say, good, um, that are really good, that avoid this speculation, negativity, like, boo, clickbaity crap. Um, but you look at it, you're like, man, do I, do I really want to be involved with, <laughs> like, linked with any of this? <laughs> so, yeah, that's today's episode. I guess, like, I don't know, man. It's, it's frustrating as a fan. I, I get, like, things are happening that you... We got to work on how we express our disappointment and our frustrations, um, and also how we treat others. Um, especially when I see this with the, like Christians within any of these fandoms, and it's like, bruh, the golden rule. Um, heck, the first, the, as Jesus cited, the most important two commandments: love the Lord your God and love your neighbor as yourself. We tend to mess up on that second one big time. Um, and we do that within the fandom by deliberately mischaracterizing or making clickbaity stuff that's just to get us clout and views and stuff and be negative on everybody. And I think that a lot of these conversations are, are good and important, but the way we're going about them is wrong. And heck, I, you could even point to within this episode. When I've got Ranny, <laughs> when I've said some stuff that's pr uh, probably too dismissive. And I'll, I'll, I'll own that. Like, uh, that's something I gotta work on, because when I get exasperated, I'm just like, nah, this is dumb. 
Um, and you can call out something as dumb, but how you do it is very important as well. Because uh, if I'm doing it in the exact same way that some of these channels or YouTubers or writers, whatever you want to say, um, <laughs> if I'm doing it in a way where all you're going to see is this raving lunatic, <laughs> my potentially true point or true rebuke or call out is going to be lost. Um, so, I guess the friendly challenge here is anybody who does content creation, anything like that, like, examine why are we doing this? Like, is it just so you can be like, I'm superior? Uh, and that's the challenge I have to extend to myself with this very episode. Because I can definitely see how somebody could hear it and be like, oh, this is just like whatever it is, 15, 20 minutes. How long has it been? 20 minutes of, of Chris just patting himself on the back for not being like those other. And that's, that's not my goal. Um, because, again, my goal is to lovingly challenge. Um, <laughs> like, what, what's your goal? What's your aim? Is it, like, are you being fair? Are you just being dismissive? Are you be <laughs> Check yourself before you wreck yourself is what this boils down to. Then also, like, are you being a good representation of your fan, of yourself, of your fandom, um, of your fellow people? <laughs> Like, all of these things are, are important and right now. They're not being treated as such. And, like, I love going on YouTube and, and checking out histories of Star Wars stuff or people's thoughts and opinions because they're, they're very interesting to me. But when so much of it is just suddenly like, the evil Kathleen Kennedy, this vile, like, that kind of trash and I see so much of that it makes me want to go away from this thing that's very counterproductive um, so yeah that's kind of my episode today um, <clears throat> and this isn't a Star Wars only problem this exists within every fandom and I'm not saying you have to like everything that's coming out I can get some of the legit criticisms towards the High Republic. I can understand those. Um, but when the bulk of it just seems to be like diversity bad, why? Um, oh, it's just SJW, it's Star Woke. How? Because um, you'll point to something on the cover and that's about it. Like, I'll happily discuss how it can be better how it could have been done differently. But you gotta actually read the stuff to be able to have that conversation. <laughs> and there's not enough good faith between people. And then, and like, that's in so many facets and how we talk about politics and how we handle things on social media and it's seeping into the fandoms and it's, ugh, it's not good. What is absolutely precious, though, is across the street, a uh, little girl is dressed like a ninja turtle. My day just got made. And I think this is where, where we wrap this up. <laughs> That's the high mark. That's the high mark of this episode. This child dressed like Raphael in a full-on ninja turtle's onesie across the street, out and about. Fantastic. All right, well, dear listener, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of One Cross Radio as much as possible. Um, and I hope it was a good, loving challenge. Um, again, the intent was not at all ever an ego stroke. Because, um, no. Because, <laughs> no, that's just, that's not my MO. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> this could go into the self 
deprecating, loathing rabbit hole. <laughs> Just gonna move on. <laughs> um, thank you for your love and support. I've I've really appreciated the prayers um, as I've been in this down season, and I I ask that uh, could you please keep those prayers going. Um, I also want to shout out a good couple friends, um, Bex and Tim from Redeemed Otaku, Nathan over at Monster Island Film Vault, our boy Hector Mirai from Faith and Fandom and the Pull List Podcast. Hector has recently launched a Faith and Fandom website. Highly encourage you to check it out. You can get merch through there. All the chapters from all past books and I believe upcoming books are on the website available now, which is dude's a machine um and so encouraging and inspiring um love you hector um <laughs> and also our boy carpenter arcade uh you can check him out on twitch he streams um and he also enjoys good <laughs> good good and good faith political conversations um and i've known this lad since we were eight and i love him yeah, and of course, uh, shout outs to my brothers in Christ, Hal, Caleb, Steve, Dave, love you guys. Alright, I'm just going to end up rambling, so I'm going to, rambling even more than normal, so I'm going to hop off here. Hope you all have a wonderful day, take care, and God bless my friends. Peace!